I am still loving this Annie, darling. Yes, for the Annie. Oh, sometimes you just gotta slay on these hoes. <laughs>
you can follow me on social media, you know, you might, <laughs> there might be some things on there. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but seriously though, like, just be uniformed. Tip number four. So, this is a tip I think people just don't know about, if that makes sense. Hashtags. I think hashtags are super, well they are, I don't think, I know, <laughs> I know. Hashtags are super important to be included on your post because you want to be able to target whatever it is that you know, you're posting. You want to be able to target it directly to those people that would be interested in um, what you're posting. So I'll use the example of a chef. Let's just say you're a culinary creative, AKA a chef, and you just make this awesome dish, let's say Asian lobster. Don't know if, if that is a real dish, but we are gonna roll with it. So let's just say you just created this Asian lobster dish and um, you're at a restaurant and you want people to come to that restaurant to try your new dish. So what I would do, I would post a picture of your Asian lobster, make sure that the picture is nice, it's not grainy, it's a very clear photo of that Asian lobster and hashtag the f out of that post. Hashtag lobster, hashtag Asian, hashtag Asian lobster, hashtag wherever location you in. If you in Chi, hashtag, hashtag Chi Town, hashtag Chicago Chef, hashtag Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag River North Restaurant, whatever the case may be, I would be sure that all those hashtags are included on that post. Just so people can see it, like people that specifically is into Asian lobster and just been waiting for somebody to, you know, because they just need to get their they mouths, you know what I'm saying? They just salivating for some Asian lobster. You, Those are the type of people that you want to see your post. So use hashtags, but use them wisely. Tip number five. So, are we on five already? Yes, tip number five. So none of this is gonna matter if your content is, is just trash. Like that's just, you know, me keeping it real. Like your content has to be top notch. Like if your content, whatever you're posting is trash, it's not, you know, high quality. People aren't gonna wanna share it. People aren't gonna want to um, engage, um, it's just, you know, it's not going to pique anyone's interest. It's just going to sit there. Um, case in point, for all my indie artists out there, this is like, I'm going to need for y'all. Whenever you're sharing your music online, this is just a bonus tip because this, y'all, y'all need to hear this. Um, whenever you're sharing your music online, please be sure that the music is mixed and mastered and, and it's the actual quality of your song is good. Um, cause these days people can tell the difference. Um, back in, in the day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Telling my age a little bit, but back in the day, you know, you may have been able to, you know, but that was before social media. So that really doesn't matter. But present 2017, yeah. You have to be sure that your music is mixed and mastered before you share Cause people, you know, it's hard to listen to music these days that's not mixed and mastered with the technology that, that we have. So that again goes back to having quality content. Um, it doesn't matter how many times a day you may post, like none of that matters. Um, just post quality content and I promise you, if your content is up to par, people are gonna share, you're gonna naturally draw people in um to you know to what you have going on um just use these other tips to help amp to to help your reach to amplify your reach especially hashtags like you know at use hashtags and trust me um you will definitely notice uh, once you start you know using hashtags on your post but make sure they're the right hashtags so yeah, that is my, um, those are my five tips. If you enjoyed this video, um, well, first of all, 
go to my blog, keenarene.me. Um, I posted a blog post on this, so these tips are essentially what I posted, but these are just five. This is no way. Um, there's m definitely more things. I just decided to pick my top five tips. Um, so stay tuned to my blog because I'm probably will going to do another one. Uh, specifically on like tools that you can use but I need you to comment um, either via my blog or comment down below and let me know because uh, I can do another video that's kind of more focused on what specific tools that I use to grow my following to grow my audience daily um, before as a social media manager you don't really think about your own social media but lately since you know I'm, I'm, I got this you know YouTube thing popping off so it lets me actually try and grow my following too. So um, I can, and my growth has been tremendous since I started because I, you know, I know the steps to take and I, and I have those tools and, and resources. So let me know if you want me to share those with you and in, in, in another video and I'll be more than happy to do that. Also, follow me on social media by Kina Renee. I'll be sure to put it in the description box and subscribe to my channel like that is most important i'm trying to get to this hunnit i'm trying to get to this hunnit so i can have youtube.com slash by kina renee can't do that till i get 100 subscribers so go ahead and click on subscribe and yeah Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next Wednesday for a brand new video on my channel. Until then, you already know what to do. You already know what to do, hey. You already know what to do. Already know what to do. So thing about me, I, continuously have Migos playing in my head. So I don't need any music because it's already just up in here. I'm already turned. I don't need a tune. I don't need, I don't need music because it's all up in here. <laughs> See y'all next Wednesday. Bye y'all. Bye.